Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. All right, Felicia, do you remember what we're going to learn about today? Human bones. Human bones. You know something about bones, don't you? <laughs> Look. The neck bone. The neck bone, sure. If you broke it, you might die. Yeah. Like a 50% that you might die and a 50% you might survive. Yeah. So, yeah, you had an accident with your with your neck bone. Yeah, it's like... Yep, yeah, that was called... A, it was dislocated. Like it's all small turned into a deformed neck. Yeah, and then I, I, had, I had a motorcycle accident where I actually broke the bone. You know oh, that? you got the 50% that you will survive. I'm very, very lucky, so I recommend not getting into motorcycle accidents. Okay, well, let's go ahead, and we've got this, uh, t- we've got this here, which is our... About human bones. Hu- yeah, this is a video about human bones. It's about kids. All right, and this is uh, from Kids Learning Zone, so yeah. please give them a... Go ahead and give them a subscribe and a like and share and all of that because they're providing f- us with the material for this lesson today. But let's go ahead. I'm going to get it playing. There we go. We can play it over here. There we go. All right. Good. Everything is still working. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. We are the human organs, introduced to you by size. We all have our own videos, but here we compromise. We all work together to keep you healthy and clean. The best that you can do for us is watch what you eat. I'm the penal gland, I'm 172 milligrams. I am a small endocrine gland, so you understand. Located within the brain, I produce melatonin, which modulates sleep patterns. Getting lots of sleep helps you win. We are your eyes, together we weigh 15 grams. We're made up of three layers, and any woman or man. Where are we located? We're in the front of your skull. We see the world around you to make things last, oh I am a thyroid, 25 grams is my weight I'm a butterfly-shaped gland in the front of your neck to locate I secrete several hormones that you regulate The heart and digestive function and your metabolic rate I am your gallbladder Okay, well we came to learn about bones, right? So... Do you mind if we skip ahead, Felicia, or do you want to learn these names? I want to learn these names. I never heard of my own organs. All right, so let's go back. They kind of worth like five billion or something. Yeah, so all right, so we got this one here. This is the uh, pineal gland. Pineal gland. Pineal gland, and you can see. It's like in this this brain, like it's, this part. It's in the center of your brain. Yeah, like this. Yeah. In, like this part. No, it's, that's the outside of your brain. It's the inside, see? This is a cross section. This is a cross section of the brain. So it's like they cut the brain in half and you can see what it looks like. You can see all the ridges and valleys and that little blue guy right there, that is your pineal gland inside your brain. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so we're gonna learn a little bit more about bones today because Felicia wants to learn. All right, can you say it? Let's say it, let's all say it together. Pineal. 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 Gland. 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 Pineal gland. Pineal gland. All right, hit those ending sounds, kiddos. All right, so pineal here we go. Gland. Whoopsie. All right, pineal gland. Within the brain, I produce melatonin. All right, we know, all right, and that's melatonin. It produces melatonin. That helps you. get sleep. Yeah, it helps you to sleep. All right, we know eyes already. Yeah, we already see the world. Mm-hmm. They weigh 15 grams. And it's like worth 5 million. <laughs> or, oh yeah, I mean 50 billion. Right, and this is your thyroid gland. Thyroid is like shaped like a butterfly. Yeah, like that's right. It's like half of my life. Right yeah, in front of your neck, yep. It helps your digestion. And this is your gallbladder. Gallbladder, 42 grams is my size. I sit under the liver, that is where I do reside. I store the bile produced by the liver, it's what I do after you eat. 
one flat, but before you eat, I'm full of bile, it's true. I am your bladder, 42 grams is what I weigh. I'm located in your pelvis in the lower abdomen, I say. I store your urine made by the kidneys. It travels down to called ureters while well, it's filling me. I am your tongue, my weight is 70 grams, you know. Located within the mouth, I taste like a pro. I'm a muscular organ in most vertebrates. I manipulate food for mastication that I'm used to swallow it. I'm called the pancreas, my weight is 80 grams, you see. All right, there's one for you. What is that one? Pancreas. 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 It's kind of a weird name. Yeah. It's kind of a weird name. Pancreas is like pan pancake. Yeah, but it's kind of shaped like a, what do you call it? It looks like a pen. A pen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, let's find out what the pancreas does. Across the back of the abdomen, behind the stomachs, where I'll be. I'm part of the digestive system, and I produce insulin and other enzymes and hormones that break down foods digested within. I'm a spleen, 150 grams is my weight, it's obscene. I'm located under the wreckage above the stomachs, where I be. I'm the largest organ in the lymphatic system, you see. I keep your bodily fluids back. But you can live without me Where your kidneys 300 grams is our weight on average Located in the upper abdominal area Where like bean shaped baggage yeah. We extract waste from blood Balance bodily fluids and form urine Alright, what is that called? Ureter 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 Okay And aid in other important functions of the body within I'm your heart Ounces, I'm about in size. I'm just behind and slightly to the left of the breastbone. I'm surprised. I pump blood through your body, supplying nutrients and oxygen to the tissues, and I remove carbon dioxide while I'm pumping. I am your stomach, two pounds in weight. I am I'm located on the left side of the upper abdomen. I secrete acid and enzymes that digest all of your it along to the small intestine for absorption this is true we are your lungs together we weigh 2.9 pounds located on either side of your chest it's where okay. we that's right so that's a little bit over a kilogram your lungs weigh a little bit over a kilogram look at it yeah like for girls like like in, inside right here right inside here. yeah and same thing for, for boys it's inside right here yeah it's like the nip nip yeah it's they're protected by your rib cage. That's one of the bones that we're going to learn about. Hang around, we supply oxygen to the body and take carbon dioxide away. This is called respiration. It's a vital role we play. I'm your brain, three pounds is around what I typically weigh. I'm located within your cranium or your head is where I stay. I control your thoughts, memory, speech, and movement, and the functions of many organs of the body within. We're the intestines, 7.5 pounds, we're pretty heavy. Located in your abdominal body cavity, our junk to absorb most of the nutrients from what you eat and drink. If you stretch us out, we'd be 25 feet in length, and we're linked. I am the skin, I make up 20 pounds in body weight. I cover your whole body and protect you because I'm great. I protect you from impacts and pressure and variations in temperature, microorganisms, chemicals, and radiation. I'm your skeleton, 30 pounds of bone. I be from your head to your toes, located within your body. My six major functions are support, movement, and protection. Protection, production, production of blood cells, storage of minerals, and endocrine. Regulation. I'm your muscles, I'm 70 pounds, the largest. I'm attached to your skeleton by muscle fibers, it's a must. I change posture, locomotion, and movement of internal organs, such as heart contraction and the movement of food through the digestive system. We are the human organs, introduced to you by size. We all have our own videos, but here we compromise. We 
all work together to keep you healthy and clean. The best that you can do for us is watch what you eat. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. Uh, why look ugly for? Our jobs to see. What did you say? Why the eyes so ugly for? I don't know. It's like has one eye like a. Oh. With a rain glass, with like the alien glass, with like. All right, but what what do our eyes do? Wait. What do our eyes do? We use our eyes to. Okay. We use our eyes to see the world around you, like. Yeah. But you can't see the behind. Yeah. See the world around you. Your most important sensory organ times too. Let's take a look into your eye. Oh my goodness. I thought it was a It's pain. a I thought it's a flying eye. It was a test to your brain. Oh. I think it's like our What is eye. It, what is this thing here called? Uh, Do you know what this is? The the red thing? It's like I read from a storybook. I know what I think I know what it's called. Let's know. see if let's see. We'll tell you. They are comprised and we'll learn about the roles that they do play. The crystal clear transparent layer is called the cornea. Yeah. It, cornea. I thought cornea didn't even exist. Yeah, no, it does. That's your cornea. That right there. It's clear. Right? You can see through it. That's why you can see the color of your eyes. That is your cornea. Cornea. Right, the, it's a color, right? No, it's not color. It's like, a, the, it, see, it's clear. It protects your eye. Yeah, I have brown eye, but you have hazel eyes. Hazel eyes, that's right. It lets us see the colored iris every day. All right, and that... Is the iris. The iris. And the ir yes, for black, yeah, like yeah. around your pimple. Around your pupil. Yes. Yes. So, what color is your iris? Uh, iris? Yeah, your iris. I think they're hazel. Your iris. Iris. What color is your iris? Uh, dark hazel. Dark hazel? Okay, good. Like, mom, it's like black and mixed with hazel. Yeah. The black center in your iris is called your pupil. Pupil. So the black part is your pupil. Yeah. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, you, you might get blind. Which brings us to the focus of your lens. All right. And then yes. at, so the light goes in through your pupil and then the lens. The lens like try to put it in bed and send the message to the brain. That's right. It remember the light, it, 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 the light goes in through the pupil and then it hits the lens and then it gets it sends a signal like first we first like right here uh -huh. sees upside down right then it's like go to the right oh the right here yeah and it turn is like to the right rotate that we see Ooh. and it sends the right image to the brain right it sends the, right you're correct you know a lot about the human body already. Yeah, because I that. like read the giant human book, like mm -hmm. the blue one. That's right. So Felicia said that when you see an image, right, if you're looking at your mom and dad, original, the original image is upside down, right? Yeah, the original, but, but, but then, the original human turn is like the right picture that's like we're seeing. That's called the vitreous image. Humor. humor. So it's upside down, but the vitreous humor does what? Does make sure the like the right photo. Right. Like it, turn the upside up the original first. It turns picture. it like uh, the upside down. Like it's the upside down picture, then you upside down it again. So instead of it being upside down, you it's turn it. right you turn it and it's right side up. Correct? Okay. So that's what the vitreous humor does. Yes, and then they take the like the right picture that we're seeing and then send to the brain. Mm, I that's see. That's why there's those lines in the eyes like that. I see. I see.
because they are the rope to attach to the brain. Oh. Well, Here, vitreous humor. It's a clear jelly-like tissue, my friends. What? It's jelly-like? So you can put it on toast? No. No. What? Is so it? He said it's a jelly-like. Vitreous humor. It's, it's a like... clear jelly-like tissue, my friends. It's a clear jelly-like tissue, my friends. <sighs> no, 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 no. It does look like jelly, but it's actually not jelly. Are you sure it's not lychee jelly? Yes, because because when you eat it, you feel like... If you eat it, you'll be a cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just like buy my own Osmo every day. Oh no, don't don't be a cannibal. All right. I drink my own blood. All right, let's see. What's uh, we got the vitreous humor here? I thought this video was all about but that's all right. About sixty-five percent of the inside of your eye, you should know. Retina, retina, retina. Uh, I think that retina DNA it, it means exists. No, it does. You're you can uh, sometimes like Muay Thai fighters or boxers or fighters in general, if they get hit in the head too hard when someone gets punched or kicked, right? You can actually, you can get your retina severed from your eye. It'll break because when you hit your head, boom, that force poof, gets in your head. So you're, you're, you can... It will detach. The, the The term is called detached retina. Detached. Yeah, and then they go blind in that eye. You can get surgery, but it, it's not successful. You like need someone to donate your eye. Mm, yeah, probably. But you can be blind one eye though, because I know how to do one eye singing. Yeah, but you don't. You want to keep both your eyes healthy. You don't want to lose an eye. Like it's like it's like two eyes. Yeah, but you get better vision with two eyes and one the one. Keep them healthy. I, you should know. Your optic nerve can be found at the there back it is. of your eye. Onto the brain is where your nerve will go. All right, there it is. You got it. You got it now. Now you know the name. What is that red thing that looks like a tail? Uh, optic nerve. Optic. Optic. No, no, no. Look, op. Optic. Tick. Good. Nerve. Optic nerve. Optic, optic nerve. Good. So that optic nerve sends a chemical electric signal from your eye to your brain that tells it what this image looks like. It's how we, we see in color. It's really quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's check. There we go. So, and we are at 18 minutes okay so we're gonna keep going here yeah it's like 46 minutes yeah and at the back of your eye onto the brain is where your nerve will go back right there we are your eyes we are your eyes we are your eyes we are your eyes, are your eyes. Are see, see the, the world, world around you, you. Most important sensory organ types is two. Wait a minute. It's the same size. So my I have the same size eyes as when I was a baby. So you must be a Disney character. Maybe, but because you are like hair was like this. <laughs> That's how I see a baby child. Okay. Your retina it has millions of photoreceptors, but you only have two types called rods and cones. Huh? Photoreceptors. So your retina your retina has millions of photoreceptors. It's like gallery. No, photo is a picture. It is a root word or a prefix meaning light. Photo means light. Photo means light. Mm -hmm. So we've been taking lights all time. So if it's photo and then receptor means it's receiving something, right? 
like life receiving like we're receiving an internet signal through the router right it, that is our, like our receiver or our receptor so a photo receptor is a light receiver so we've been taking lights all day hmm? yeah they take light they got millions of photo receptors like like receiver mm -hmm. like another word for a light for water receptors mm -hmm. but this is the medical terminology so they're going to say words like photoreceptors. Yes, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Let's go. Photoreceptors, but you only have two types called rods and cones. The rods are way more sensitive, but cannot tell colors and are mostly used when light is really low. Okay, so there's the rods. The are mostly active in a higher light and can recognize all colors now you know. All right, so rod. Oh, I know. You know what? What do you know? The rods, right? Rods. The, what? Do you, the mm -hmm. rods that use for light, like mm -hmm. we can see in the dark. Mhm. Mm so the cones. If you don't have the cone, you're colorblind. Mm, no, you still have cones, but there's that's another issue altogether. Color blindness happens when you, uh, when your genes are coded in a way that doesn't allow those those cones to process those colors to your brain in the way that um, is normal. And there is no clear. Yeah. Your eyes each have six muscles to help move them around the superior and inferior oblique. Oblique. Then the medial and lateral rectus and superior and inferior rectus are not weak. Can we ask how we blink? Mm. Well, those are your muscles for your eyes. So that. Uh, like, you mean this finger skinniness muscle? Well, I think those. It's my eye. No, I don't think that's using. I think that's using a different muscle, or maybe like a short twitch fiber or something or that. I don't know. I don't know how our eyes blink. Do you guys know how our eyes blink? Do our I do, think our, it's our like eyelids. Do our eyelids like eye fast, like sending a signal to the brain is a fatness. and it's like when you need to blink, like blink is the fatness mm -hmm. stuff to do. And does our, but that, do our eyelids have muscles that move them? Because you see this here, this is a muscle that moves your eye. So your, it moves your eye up and down. So whenever you, whenever you do this, like that, roll your eye. Yeah, those, those muscles in your, are doing that. They're rolling your eyes. But your eyelid, when you blink, yeah. is that a different muscle? Oh my finger, I just grow hard and start beeping on it. Uh, because I feel them every time. Okay. It's like. But oh, you feel. Oh, yeah. Well, you can hear, feel your heart, your pulse. That's what like my eye heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good way to look at it, your eye heart. Well, let's go here and see what's next. Correct. Uh. Distance superior and inferior rectus are not weak. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. Our job is to see the world around you. So we can see behind. Important sensor reorgan times two. When the light enters your eyes through the cornea, it flies and your iris decides what it should do. Ooh.
Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I am your gallbladder. Gallbladder. I am the Two necks in our body. Oh. No. <laughs> no, that, we don't have two necks. We I got mean one the, neck. It's the organ necks. Yeah, it's the organ's neck. All right, but those are some cool names, though. Let's see. We got. All right, so we've got the. What is that called? The, the common. Common. Hepatic duck. Hepatic duck. Good. Side duct tape. Okay, and then we've got that. What's that? That is the. Click stick duck. Close sis. Cystic duct. Yes, the cystic duct. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's where? To the neck. Which is attached to the body and around it from dust. I think the scientists got a little bit lazy when they started naming these things. The bile duct. Ah, so your liver. your liver makes bile, and then it stores the bile in your gallbladder. So your liver makes the bile, then the then your gall gall bladder bladder yes stores the bile. Right, that's it. So gall blad. All right, everyone at home, I know. We haven't been doing a whole lot of speaking, but let's say it. The, say it with me. Gallbladders. Gallbladders. Store. Store. Bile. Bile. Gallbladders store bile. Gall. Gall. Bladders. Bladders. Store. Store. Bile. Bile. Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, now say it. That's it. <laughs> Go bladder store bile. Yes. All right. This bile is then used to break down fats from the foods. Ah, that's important. Did you hear that? Huh? What did he say? Listen to that again. What is bile used for? To break down fats from all the foods. All right. You need to listen again? Yeah. All right. Let's. All right. Break that. Here's the question. Felicia's not listening so well. I'm trying to listen. All right. Listen to what he says, and then tell me what is bile used for. Wait, wait, all right. They use to break down your fat in the food. That's right. So you eat the fat in the food that you eat gets broken down so that it can be used for energy. Oh. And that's what bile does. It breaks that fat down so that our bodies can use it. Oh. Mm hmm All right. Look here. Here's some food coming in.
What if the what if the, like a long long trail of food like digest already and it's come down the to the claw bladder. The gallbladder? Yeah and uh, and it's like really small but it is a long trail in this. Oh well you can see look there so here it's gone into the stomach, the food, and it's traveled down. Now it's getting into the duodenum. And then that's part of your intestinal tract, I believe. And then it gets stuck here. And that's when, so the bile comes from the gallbladder down the common bile duct. And psh, Spoosh, turn it yeah, like it's our like, digest stomach. There it goes, and what? It's going to break it down. Boop, 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 boop. Then we make new bile. New bile, that's right. We make new bile, so the next time we eat, we have bile ready to break down the fats. Gallbladder. Gall bladder. Gall bladder. Gall, gall, gall bladder. Gall bladder. Yeah. All right, and our next one. What's coming up here? Mm, bladder. A bladder. Urine. It's pee pee. Oh, uh, your bladder holds what? Your urine? Pee pee. Pee? Pee pee? Yes. Pee pee? Yes. Pee pee? Yes. <laughs> then, after like, when it's like filled up, it will just tell your brain to like, move your body to the bathroom and like <sighs> sit on it and pee. And this thing will go down. Oh my god. It's like, it gets... Like the bladder needs to drain their pee pee. Yeah. So when, when your bl bladder gets filled up, f filled up, how do you feel? Like want to pee. Like. Sh 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 oh, you mean you do the pee pee dance? Like yeah. <laughs> I know the pee pee dance. Here, how do we do the pee pee dance? This is how I do the pee pee dance. Pee 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 pee. How do you do the pee pee dance? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's the pee pee dance. For girls, they want it like shush. All right, so here we go. Here's a picture of the bladder's anatomy located in the interior of a pelvis happy. The peritoneum covers it. I didn't know a bladder has a hair. <laughs> it's not hair. It's not hair. It's a peritoneum. <laughs> I don't even know if I can say that word. Let's listen to it again. Peritoneum. It does look like hair more. Yeah, it does. It looks like a hair. Bad haircut. <laughs> yeah, it looks even look like really wonka. Yeah. Who makes you a pee? Do you know what urine is mostly? Huh? Dead blood. Dead blood. Dead blood. Dead blood. Dead blood. Dead blood. Mm hmm Your kidneys filter your blood and all the dead blood cells. So it gets rid of the toxins that you eat. Yeah, the toxins <laughs> that you might may have eaten that are in your bloodstream. That makes the blood dead. But Oh well, yeah, and then there's also dead blood cells, dead blood cell, red blood cells, and their your kidneys also turn them into urine. Pee pee. Pee pee. Yes, that's right. Pee pee. And we got his here. Where are you going? Uh, 
a urethral sphincter. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. That's a muscle, and you've got them all over your body, like near your bladder, for example. It's a muscle that gets open and closed. It opens and closes. Uh, opens and closes and opens and closes. That's what your sphincters do to control. Like it's a hole. Like what? It's for the hole, like the pee pee to come out. Well, there's that's that's the uh, the the duct that it comes out of, right? Or the tract. But it's a muscle that closes that hole, so that you're not leaking pee pee all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Open right. So imagine, right? Like this is the this is the straw wrapper here. So imagine, if you will, right? This is part in your body. This is your like the bladder. You know, this is attached to the bladder. Okay, and then you've got the sphincter, the urethral sphincter, which will be my fingers, right? And so it goes like this. It goes closed. No pee pee's coming out. Like oh, and then and then when you want to go pee pee. And like right, and you go boing, and you go. Shh. Can I try? Can mm -hmm. I try? So when you like hold your pee pee, like, like flying out to like when you fall away from the toilet, mm -hmm. and you want pee pee so bad. Yeah, that's, that's like you try. <laughs> that's right. And no. when it's like, when it's like can't hold it, it's like push. <laughs> it's like well, that. Yeah, well that's like all right. So your brain is sending a message to. Your your internal urethral sphincter, when you don't when you're trying to hold it, is your your brain is sending a signal saying, close close close, don't open don't open, and then and then the sphincter muscle's doing its job, but then sometimes it just gets too hard, right? And it says can't do it anymore, brain. Ah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like. You always hold your pee when you don't want to pee. Yeah, you shouldn't hold your pee. It's not good for you. You can get yeah, rid of it. Bad. <laughs> the toilet bowl. You know what the toilet bowls look like, kids. So look, look, this is a good, this is a good, uh, good one here, though. It's showing you just what we talked about, right? There's your urethra. That's like the pipe. The pipe like that is, your pee pee goes. This down. is your urethra, right here, whoop, going down. Yeah. Let's look at the video. Look at the video again, and it says. Your external. Urethral sphincter, that's what he says. It's what you control. That's what I said. Okay, there we go. So look, let's look. Whoa, open, open. The toilet bowl. <laughs> Peristalsis. Yes. Ah, making you, that's what swell means when you pee pee and you go, ah, but when that when, feels swell. Every time when the, like, when it feels swell, do it. <laughs> yeah, I feel itchy. You feel itchy. That's strange. I've never heard of anyone feeling itchy from taking a pee. But we are out of time here. You guys did a great job. There's a lot of big words in here. So go ahead and... 
you guys can check out this YouTube like, video. This is like put the link yeah. in the description. Yeah, okay. This, this is kids learning to. If you wanna watch the full video, we will put the link on them. The, the description. In the description. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye.